What's up guys, so if you watch my videos, you might know who Beta Squad are. They have almost 2 million subscribers and have some very high profile members such as Nicole Milana and Chunks. They're also shockingly similar to the far larger group who you definitely would have heard of, the Sidemen. And today I'm going to be analysing both Beta Squad and the Sidemen, and answering whether Beta Squad can take on the role that the Sidemen have had for the last 8 years. So first I'm going to talk about the Beta Squad. So the Beta Squad consists of five members. Nick Ormolana, Chunks, King Kenny, AJ Shabil, and Sharky. And they in fact make very similar, very high quality videos to the Sidemen. And in terms of views, they aren't that far off. Out of the last 10 videos on both channels, the Beta Squad has achieved 30.1 million views, whilst the Sidemen have managed 73.3 million. So roughly for every view that the Beta Squad gets, the Sidemen get two and a half. But considering that Beta Squad only have 15% of the Sidemen subscribers, and have only existed for two years whilst the Sidemen have been around for eight, in comparison they're doing extremely well. But the most important metric here is average views per video, not subscribers. And in that department, the Beta Squad are doing very, very well. Now the Beta Squad remind a lot of people of the original Sidemen days, back when all the Sidemen lived in the same house and made more homemade content with each other. Since then, the Sidemen now live apart from each other with the exception of a few, but the Beta Squad seem to have followed in the Sidemen's footsteps. For a couple of years now, the Beta Squad have lived together, regularly making content with each other, however since March of 2020 on individual channels rather than the official Beta Squad channel. Which surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly at this point, was very similar to the Sidemen until the introduction of Sidemen Sundays back in January of 2018. Sidemen Sundays have basically been the ticket for the Sidemen to becoming the most established YouTuber group. Weekly, consistent, high quality uploads have kept the Sidemen thriving even after 8 years as a group. And has amassed to make combined 20.8 million subscribers across all Sidemen channels. And I'm not talking about each individual's channels, I'm talking about the actual Sidemen channels. The Sidemen was founded in 2013, but didn't have an official YouTube channel until two years later. In that time, they made collabs with each other, each on their own individual channels under the name of the Sidemen. Very much like to the situation the Beta Squad are in now. However, the more videos that the Beta Squad makes, obviously the more established they become and the more they grow. There is a reason why it's taken the Sidemen eight years to get to the 11 million subscribers they're on today. But the biggest problem the Beta Squad might suffer from is sustainability and focus. This was the reason that just recently the popular group Eboy split up. As of the past few months, everybody in the group has been busy with their own individual endeavours, and as a result the group channel has been abandoned. But fortunately, there's a very simple solution. They need to make a plan and stick to it. This is what saved the Sidemen back in 2018. You see, the Sidemen, again, were in a very similar position in 2017 where the group channel had basically been abandoned. But to get their views up again in order to get their own YouTube original show. Hence, Sidemen Sundays. Every single Sunday, the Sidemen would upload a video. It was that simple. And fast forward three years later and the Sidemen Sundays are still going. And can largely be credited to the success of the Sidemen. This is exactly what Beta Squad needs. Even if it means getting low quality episodes if they're consistent. But the good news is so far they've been a very successful group. It has been very difficult to make that sort of content since March 2020. And if they could start uploading videos consistently again, in a few years they could very well be as large as the Sidemen. They have the ability to make very high quality content, they just need to make a plan and stick to it. Roll the outro. Thank you very much for watching. We are just 6 subscribers away from hitting 200, so if you're not already subscribed, I'd massively appreciate it if you did subscribe. Huge huge thank you to Max Vosh who commented on the last video, and I'll see you in the next one.